Do you want to know how to trade on crypto.com app? Then this video is for you. My name is Michael and I have made quite a few videos about crypto.com because I think it's a great and user friendly crypto app and many viewers have asked me how to use it to trade and therefore I decided to record this video where I'll show you step by step how easy it is to do as a beginner. So I have now logged into the crypto.com app and if you are not yet a member of it and decide to join, then I do have a special invitation link and a code. So you can use that to get a $25 joining bonus. I'll leave that below. But for now, let's focus on how you can use it to trade because the design has recently changed as of recording this video anyways. So how you trade is basically a couple of different options. You can see there's this big button there calling call trade and then you have the buy sell option. But if you use that big button down here where it says trade, Basically, you just get the option to buy cryptocurrency. This is the exact same uh, you will get access to if you press this buy button there. Uh, so uh, which one you use, uh, that you know, that's just up to your personal preferences. But uh, then all you need to do is that you can scroll through there. You can see the crypto.com app has a lot of different cryptos. You can buy and sell here and you can trade. And if you want to search for a specific one, you can just do that. Click here, the search one and search for one there. But let's say you then want to buy Bitcoin. You would just click it. Then you have different options here. You can choose to pay with crypto. You can choose to uh, pay with cash. Uh, cash, that means that you need to have added some money here. Uh, you can, uh, you know, for example, transfer it from your bank, whatever you want here. Or you can also pay with Google Pay. That is super easy. Or there are also other payment methods that you can uh, use. You can pay with card also if you prefer. So there are quite a lot of different options. And then other than that, you can see up here, this is where you choose uh, what you want to buy, the amount you want to buy. If it's easier for you, say, for example, you can just click this little here. So it uh, swaps. And then you can see that I can choose, for example, if I wanted to... Uh, you know, choose dollars instead. I want to buy for like a thousand dollars or for a hundred dollars. Then you can see it like that. That can be uh, good to know. I do like that they have this option so you can change and show uh, whether you want uh, to buy in this particular amount of crypto or a particular amount of dollars uh, because some uh, some apps don't have that option. So I do like that option. And then the, the other option is here. You choose a one-time buy. That means that I buy now at the current market price uh, or I can click it and then you can see I have an option to do like a recurring buy so this is this dollar cost averaging basically i can set it up to buy a certain amount uh, for example every other day every week whenever i want to or i can do it as a target price and this is actually quite clever because it, you might say like okay when when bitcoin or whatever crypto you want to buy it reaches a certain price i definitely want to buy because that is a great uh, price and then you just set it and you don't have to keep an eye on the market the whole time but one thing i just want to make clear right away is that I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not advising you to go trade crypto or buy a certain coin or anything like that. I'm just showing you how to use the crypto.com app to trade if you want to, because it's a very easy app to use for it compared to many other platforms where you can start trading. But crypto trading does have financial risk. You can end up losing your money. So whether you want to do that, you know, that's up to you. Do your own research, which coins to invest in, when to buy, when to sell. That is a risk you need to take on yourself. So I just wanted to make that clear. But when it comes to trading, we of course also need to talk about actually selling and not just buying. So let's also just talk about that. So once you have some crypto, of course, to actually make money from it, if you want to trade, then you need to also sell it. And that's super easy. You see the button there. You just go here. You choose to sell. And then you can choose again, which crypto do you want to sell? You Let's say you just again, you wanted to sell Bitcoin. And then you have the option again. You can choose to get it into, uh, for example, if you have a crypto.com Visa card. I also have a video about that. I will leave a link in the top corner. If you have a wallet, here, a fiat wallet with a regular currency, you can get it in there, or you can choose to get it into a crypto wallet. So then you can choose to do that. You can choose up here, uh, of course, how much do you want to sell? Again, you have the option there to swap. So you choose a certain amount of euros or dollars, depending on the country you're in there. And here you have the market order, meaning I will sell here and now for this particular price or the target price. Again, 
this is a really great way to make sure that you actually uh, profit from it because you can just say like, okay, I just bought it for this price. When it increases, for example, if we just choose that here, a certain amount there, a certain percentage or reaches a certain price, uh, then no, uh, then I want to sell. And then you don't have to sit and keep an eye on the market. You just know that it will automatically sell. Once you reach that, uh, for example, you say like when it's increased 5%, then I want to sell. You just set up first you buy then you sell it and then you can leave it and then you will have made a trade without actually having to keep an eye on the market and potentially made money of course there's no guarantee it will increase like that or it might happen in an hour it might happen in a week it might happen in a month you know again that comes down to you making the right strategy for you and uh, being aware of the risks so you don't end up uh, trading with money you can't potentially afford to lose because there is no guarantees so this is how easy it is to trade with the crypto.com app. And I've tested quite a lot of different crypto platforms and it's just very user friendly for beginners uh, because you can kind of figure it out. Just you see it one time now here, then you go in there, you set it up, uh, the, especially if you want to have the best opportunities to become profitable. I think these automatic buy and sell are really great options. And compared to many other platforms I've tested, they, that's often like can be a little bit complicated to figure out how to set these automatic buy sell orders up but inside the crypto.com app i find it, it very easy and user friendly and that's why i wanted to show you exactly how to do that if you want to know more about the crypto.com app i do have a lot more tutorials about different aspects of it i will leave a link to playlist for that below also as mentioned if you want to join not yet a member of it i do have a special invitation link that will give you a 25 dollar joining bonus if you uh, just go in and live up to certain criteria i will also leave that below so then you can check that out but no matter what i hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out next time I'll leave a video with tips and tricks about different ways to make money online.